Hey guys, this is Henry from Mobidi again. Today we're back with our Cubase video tutorials and on today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to render your metronome to audio. Now, you might be asking, well, why do I need to have my metronome or my click render as an audio track? Well, there's a couple of reasons. Number one, sometimes we need to share our projects um, with other producers or other engineers that might not have this software, they might not have Cubase, so they want everything to be rendered as audio. That's option one. Uh, option two, if you're creating uh, playback tracks, okay, you're creating uh, tracks that you're gonna be used for playing on top of it while, while performing live, you're gonna need a metronome so that musicians can listen uh, while they're playing, so everyone's playing uh, synchronized, especially if you have like background tracks from instruments that are not being physically played, but maybe either they, you know, you're shooting them from a from a laptop or a sampler or something like that. Uh, you're gonna need a click, so uh, you might as well use the original click from the song because everything is synced to it. So you're gonna need it to be audio, most likely. So. Um, how do you do it? Well, <clears throat> very simple. Right now, I mean, if I press play, you have your regular metronome click. But if you want it as audio, uh, you can do it by simply going here. If we go to a project and we create a new track, we can create a signature track. Um, that signature track uh, has this little arrow down here. If you click there, uh, you can have render audio click between locators. So before we do that, you need to make sure that your locators are there. Um, here's your cycle there, it's activated. Um, right now you have them from bar one, start of bar one to the start of bar 12. Uh, you might wanna do it for the whole song. So let's say your song has, uh, whatever, 97, 105 bars. You would drag it all the way there Supposing the song is within those limits. And then you can go into that signature track that we created and then press on that little arrow pointing down and then render audio click between locators. Click there and check what happened. A new audio track was created. This new audio track, uh, it's called Audio Click 01. If you zoom in, it's literally just click, 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 click. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and turn off that metronome that we have and just play back. I'm gonna solo it so it's obvious. I'm gonna solo that track and see what, ha what happens. So it's literally just that click, but it was rendered to audio. You can now share this with whoever you want. But now another cool feature of this, if we go to your console, uh, you have it as an actual track here. So you could, if you wanted, mute it, or lower the level or crank it up. It's totally up to you. It just, at that point, it's just another audio track, just as if you had like a vocal track or a bass, a guitar, you can do whatever you want with it, honestly. Um, you can see you got your inserts, your EQs, your channel strip, your synths. You could even do crazy things like processing it and kind of turning it into a, another instrument, maybe like a kick or a snare out of a click, out of a metronome. So you can get very creative with this. Uh, but in general, just keep in mind that if you're gonna be creating playback tracks or sharing your your individual tracks with a producer that is maybe not using Cubase, but another DAW, you might wanna render everything to audio, including the click. So that's it for today. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you guys. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedient PC Audio Labs and we'll be happy to help you. We'll see you soon, bye-bye. Wanna learn how to produce music using this, or using that, or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.